Hey, what's up guys? So I'm back with a tutorial. Finally, it's been forever that I haven't done a tutorial. Um, and I apologize for that. But today, well, it's a month of love. So I'm gonna be doing these, um, Valentine's uh, tutorial for you guys. This is one of them. Um, so... It's kind of neutral on the eyes, but with a pop of color. This is like a nice soft, um, soft Valentine's Day look for you guys who doesn't like to go overboard on the eyes and the lips. Um, because I know there's going to be a lot of dramatics, but, um, I'm only going to do two looks. It's going to be this one and a nice dramatic look as well. So, yeah, I'm so excited about this. Um, so this is a look. Um, I chose the lip color because this is a lip stain, lip balm stain kind of thing. Um, you'll see it in the video. video. You want something that's kissable if you're going to be kissing your hubby, your boyfriend, or whoever, um, you're going to spend that day with. Um, even if you're going to be going out with your girlfriends, obviously you're going to be going out for drinks, so you want something that's, um, liquid proof. So this is perfect for it, or if you're just hanging out at home watching a movie um, but you still want to look amazing <laughs> for your friends or whoever you're spending the day with. So um, scratch that whole <laughs> long intro. Um, so if you want to learn how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So the foundation I'm going to be using is Max Studio Fix Fluid. Um, and I'm just going to blend this all over my face, like, as you can see. Then I'm going to take Maybelline Adri Wine and use it as a brightener, eye brightener, and make a V-shape, and then just blending it. Um, to my next concealer, I'm going to use Revlon's Photo Ready Concealer and apply this under my eyes for extra coverage and then just blending this with a brush so next off I'm going to powder my concealer and my foundation I'm using MFSF natural and then of course I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera like always so my eyebrows are done and then this is the eye look I'm going to be doing, nice and neutral. So I'm going to use my Laura Pro palette. I'm going to prime my eyes with the primer I came with and just try it out, you know. Then I'm going to take um, taupe in the matte, top matte section and apply this to my crease and then just blending it. Then I'm going to take light bronze, a nice satin finish, and I'm going to apply this all over my lids. And then just blending the harsh lines. Then I'm going to take sable, sable, yeah, sable, and then apply this as a C or a V shape, as whatever you like for your eye shape, and then just blending it. Then I'm going to take Espresso, and then I'm going to make it more defined and apply this on my outer lid. And then of course blending it. Then I'm going to take the light bronze and just fix up and, you know, <laughs> I'm going to take this nude color and then apply this on my inner tear duct. I'm going to go back and forth with this with um, this color, just blending it and reapplying it because I didn't look like how it looked like. Then I'm going to take cream and apply this on my brow bone and then just blending. A lot of blending involves in this look, which is good. Then I'm going to take light bronze and apply this on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take Espresso and apply this on my outer lower lash line. And then I'm just going to be blending that all together. And the eyeshadows are basically done. 
So I'm going to take Maybelline Line Stiletto, uh, as always, on apply it on my top lashes and then make a forever on my bottom and on the top I'm just gonna do a little wing so it should look like this then I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to use my infamous 6-5 mascara 5 mascaras <laughs> and of course I'm going to post everything in the description bar They are all Maybelline, so they're all affordable. So the eyes are basically done. On to the rest of my face. I'm going to use NARS Laguna Bronzer to contour. Then I'm going to use La Masca Twink blusher um, it's a nice bright pink but it doesn't show us that much as you can see okay on to the lips I'm using lovesick by Revlon the dress been kissable is a perfect lip color and lip name for this look so I'm just gonna apply that And that just completes the whole entire look. Uh, yeah. So you just want something kissable, like nothing, something that stains your lips. So you can kiss whoever you want. And I hope you enjoy, and I'll definitely see you in my next. Bye.